What's up, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. And today on Behind the Grind, we're going to be talking about case knives, why and how to collect them, and what to look for. Now, before we get started, we've got some new projects coming up. Be sure to tune into our channel daily as we will be posting our daily grind videos, quickly featuring a new knife every day, going over its price, different options, and an in-hand view. And also a link will be provided to view the specs of that knife and to purchase that knife on our website. Also, coming up at the end of every month, starting in February, uh, we're actually going to be doing a live show every month, once a month, New Knives Live where we bring to you new knives and industry news from the past month. Now, don't forget to be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos. Now, without further ado, let's light it up. All right, guys, I'm back trying to help with questions and that I see and hear all the time. And one that I hear quite a bit is, are case knives collectible? Or how do I start collecting case knives? There's so many of them. And what do I need to look for? First off, case knives are highly sought after by many, many collectors out there. Now, uh, the company actually started in 1889 with four brothers who began selling knives out of a wagon while traveling around upstate New York. Later on, uh, one of the brothers, William Russell, W.R. Case, along with his son John Russell, or Russ, formed what is now known as W.R. Case and Sons. Now, over the years, it uh, it's actually become a trusted and sought-after name in the collector community. It is, however, very daunting to get into collecting these knives for the first time. So I'm going to help you out just a little bit here. One thing I would advise is to focus. With so many different styles, blades, models, you need to initially narrow your focus. This is going to make it much easier to search and be successful at collecting and being happy with your collection. The things I would recommend focusing on are uh, these next few things I'm going to talk about. First up is pattern. Now, maybe there's a specific pattern that you like the best. Maybe that's what you start with, whether it's a stockman or a trapper. I know a lot of guys that love trappers. I I've got a good friend of mine. His dad collects canoes. Now, it, that can help you narrow your focus and have a lot more fun with the search without getting overwhelmed or just plain old whelmed. So, next, you can also focus on the handle material. Now, maybe there's a specific handle material you like the look of or feel better. Um, you can actually find anything from wood, bone, and ivory to pearl, G10, synthetic like this one I've got right here, and, uh, and many, many others. Now, Limited editions or even first production runs are going to be a great way to get into collecting. In that same vein, keep an eye out for case vault releases like these right here. Now, we've got uh, this year, especially uh, 2021, they came out with their uh, vault release, which is their Trapper series. Um, I've got the blue jigged bone saw cut right here fantastic model. Another way is going to be to get into licensed models. Maybe there's a brand or celebrity that you really like, kind of like this uh, John Wayne that I've got right here. Those are actually a great way to get into it. If you're associated with a brand, that's going to be your gateway knife to get into collecting these case knives. Now, when it comes to what to look for, first you want to make sure that it's not a fake. There are fakes out there, as with anything. You also need to be able to tell what era that knife is from. And uh, to do that, all you have to do is look at the tang stamp. Now, we've got a bunch of different tang stamps here. We're going to throw them up on the screen. Uh, now, as you can see, there are many different case stamps that have been used at different times. Now, the stamp is going to change to denote when it was made. In addition to these, in certain decades, the stamp features 10 dots or stars uh, at the beginning of the decade, and one is removed each year so that you can discern the actual year that that specific blade was made, that that specific model was made. Now, then you need to be able to read the pattern stamp. You're going to find that on one of the blades. It's going to be a four-digit number. The first number is the material code that Case uses. The second number is going to be the number of blades on that model, and the last two is the pattern code that Case uses for that style. Now, of course, you need to keep these knives clean. 
either display or store them properly, whether you put them in a glass front case to uh, eliminate the dust or keep them stored in a temperature and humidity controlled safe in something like a pelican case or a knife roll. Now, you are going to need to clean these knives periodically. And what's better than Case's own case paste metal polish? Uh, you can see that right there. Uh, it does a fantastic job with a microfiber cloth. Um, sometimes it's going to need a little more TLC, and if there's rust on the blade, you can use one of our rust erasers to help with that before polishing, or even a number two pencil eraser. That helps as well. Most importantly, have fun and enjoy it. That's all for me, folks. I'm TC. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, if it cuts, we carry it. <laughs>